Acacero Lasso is a nonviolent protest tactic that involves creating a noisy disturbance using pots, pans, and kitchen utensils. The word casero lasso is Spanish and technically means banging pots and pans. The Spanish word cacerola means pan, saucepan, or stew pot. The Spanish suffix aso denotes a hitting action. Although this type of demonstration has different names around the world, and English language media often refer to it as a pots and pans protest, many English language activist toolboxes use the word casero lasso. While casero lasso tools typically create a chaotic clanging cacophony, they have been turned into musical instruments to make infectious, danceable rhythms. <laughs> or is the background percussion for a chant. The tradition of protesting through banging on pots and pans can be traced back to medieval Europe's chivaries, which were noisy mock parades used to shame people who had violated community norms. The Casero Lasso first gained international prominence when it was used in Chile in December 1971 with the March of the Empty Pots. Here, an estimated 5,000 women were protesting food shortages. With empty pots and pans powerfully symbolizing the difficulty families were experiencing and finding enough to eat. This audible form of protest is predominantly used in Latin American social movements today. However, it is still used in other parts of the world, usually to demonstrate mass disapproval of corruption, authoritarianism, and economic systems that aren't working for the people. While casero lassos usually happen in groups, they can be done alone as hashtag Cacerola Girl bravely demonstrates here with Puerto Rican riot police in July 2019 when protesters were demanding that the governor resign. There are many advantages to using casero lassos as a tactic. They're free, simple, and easy to join. They require no preparation, training, special skills, or commitment. They're decentralized, can spread quickly and spontaneously, and are effective in drawing people into the streets and public spaces in large numbers. Since hundreds, even thousands, can participate, they can be used to demonstrate people power and collective spirit, stimulate a sense of solidarity, build momentum, and recruit members in a movement. Casero lassos are versatile in that they can be done outside in marches and demonstrations in front of office buildings, from a car during a pandemic, inside buildings to disrupt meetings or conferences, and from inside homes hanging out windows or from balconies during curfews, lockdowns, or situations where street protests are forbidden or dangerous, or to defiantly show that a particular broadcast is not being watched. And all ages can participate. In Blueprint for Revolution, Serja Popovic writes, In Serbia, my grandmother Branka was in her 70s when we students were marching day in and day out for three months during the freezing winter of 1996. Obviously, she couldn't join us, and even if she'd been able to, I wouldn't have let her, because she was too frail. But she could, God bless her golden soul, spend hours hitting pots and pans from her window in support of the protesters. The disadvantages, however, are that alone a casero lasso can be less effective in bringing about substantial change than other tactics like a strike or boycott. A lot of people participating in an action doesn't always equal change. This kind of tactic by itself, without an overall strategy, does not usually apply the sustained pressure needed for systemic change to happen. A minor downside is that your kitchenware might be unusable afterward. So maybe don't use your favorite pot. And arms get tired. One solution some protesters use is a Casero Lasso smartphone app. While some might consider this cheating, proponents say it allows them to continue to show hands-free support and solidarity for hours, and that connecting the phone up to a speaker can make the sounds louder. Despite its downsides, the auditory force behind a casero lasso of sufficient size can be an incredible show of people power.